Your Life in Sex Island, Chapter 5, Picking Up the Tab, Page 173. We have examined our tax system in a microscopic search for fairness and were disappointed. There has been no attempt at fairness. The professional liars love it. Load the taxes on the poor and middle class and lie about it. Say that the rich pay most of the taxes. You, hair professional liar, get well paid for it. Is your mother proud of you? I think that we have shown a few simple things that ought to be done. Alas, why what we ought to do won't be done. I am not such a fool as to think for even a moment that my recommendations will be adopted this side of heaven. The chapter on the media will discuss the structure of information dissemination in this country. Reality doesn't stand a chance. The rich control all of the corporate media, all. The rich also bought and paid for all of the think tanks. The thinkers, fellows like senior and executive directors, sounds good, doesn't it? Those thinkers apparently never stop to ask themselves, what am I being paid to do here? Am I building cabinets for them? Am I cooking their meals? Am I taking care of their kids? Am I fucking their wives? What are they paying me for? They don't want to ask themselves that question. What benefit are they getting from me? They avoid that or those questions like shunning a maggoty body on the street. Their little minds cross the road. Now you know why the chicken crossed the road. To avoid those questions. They know. They know deep down that they are intellectual whores. They are the sweepers pushing all of the money to fewer and fewer people until, of course, there will be a collapse or maybe a revolution. They know it. But the pay is good. Tainted, but good. Dirty, but easy. Who gives a shit if people commit suicide? I am well paid. Piss on everyone else. I am well paid. Even outlets like C-SPAN concentrate the propaganda. They, the C-SPANs, put on the guppies from the think tanks and never, never, ever counterbalance them. Never challenge the layers of propaganda. Never offer the truth. Never. Now we have the internet. Maybe now there is a chance. A chance for the honest leveling of information. The professional liars may be losing their grip on the throat of truth. The rich are terrified. They do not want an open internet. They do not want net neutrality. They want control. They are attacking from many angles. Let us control pornography. Pornography is bad. We must have control. Let us control the blogs. What horrors may befall us if we let loose total control of the monologue? Comcast, a monopoly internet provider, went to court so that they could censor the internet. They won. The Supreme Court, only the Catholic Supreme Court justices, voted to allow the rich to censor the internet. The internet is no longer free. The internet is no longer neutral. The internet is no longer fair. The Catholics on the Supreme Court said so. I am not anti-Catholic. Where is the Pope? Where are the Cardinals? Where are the bishops? Where are the priests? Why are they not screaming at the Catholic injustices on the Supreme Court? Can't we get an honest, fair internet back? I wonder. I'll wonder some more in a minute. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. Purchase the book now by clicking on the link in the description below.